Samantha by Oz Thomas and narrated by Luke Coyne. On a winding country road, far removed from time, there was a small house, and in this house lived a boy and his best friend, a cat named Samantha. This boy and cat did everything together. They went fishing together, wandered about the fields and forests together, and climbed trees and stared at the sky together. They were happy here, and on one beautiful crisp autumn day, they decided to pick apples. The boy grabbed his extra long ladder, his work shoes, and a few buckets, and with Samantha he headed for the apple grove to fill his buckets with fruit. Samantha simply leapt up into the trees, since she was a cat and that's something cats do, but the boy had to use his ladder to get up there. But once he was up there, his buckets quickly filled with fruit. So the boy told Samantha to stay where she was, and then he would return soon once he'd emptied the buckets into the cellar. And off he went. When the boy came back, just a few minutes later with the empty buckets, Samantha was nowhere to be seen. He raced back to the house, thinking perhaps she had gotten bored and gone to surprise him, but she wasn't there. It started to get dark and the boy began to worry. He looked down that long dirt road that led away from his home, away from town. He never walked down this road before, but now it seemed he would have to. He had to find his friend. And so, with only the shoes on his feet and the shirt on his back, he started walking. He walked day and night across valleys and deserts. He walked in the rain and in the cold. He walked for so long, his shoes wore out. Winter came and his shirt wore thin, but that didn't stop him. I have to find my best friend, he told himself. One day, the dirt road he was walking on ended, and a hard, crooked one took its place. The boy shivered, but he kept right on walking. Anything to find Samantha, he thought. Anything to find my best friend. The road was populated by scary people of every description. Everywhere the boy went, he asked them if they had seen Samantha, a black cat with soulful yellow eyes. And everywhere the boy went, the answer was no. But they didn't just say no, I haven't seen a cat. They'd say, you don't need a cat, you're silly. You need a Mocha Supreme or an Avmaster 2000 or a set of Spanish encyclopedias. They offered him all manner of strange things, but he really only wanted to see his friend. Still, since he was trying to be polite, he took these things and added them to his ever-growing bag of stuff. One day, when he saw an old man sitting on his porch, and went up to him to ask him if he had seen Samantha, he was out of breath. Unluckily for him, the old man was the world's best salesman. The old man sold the boy an elixir which was guaranteed to cure all his ailments. The boy walked away with a smile on his face, but as he walked away, he began to feel that he was forgetting something. But what was it? He couldn't remember, and so he just kept on walking. He walked until he came upon a shop of antiques. Feeling the urge that he needed something, he went into the shop, looked around, and bought some used bubblegum. Then he went out searching for more things, shopping for bargains, and completing his collections. As long as he kept busy, he didn't feel sad, but as soon as he stopped, he felt empty, like there was something he needed. But what was it? It wasn't a set of Full House DVDs, or a Ninja Turtle action figure, or a combination nail clipper, envelope opener, and can opener. He had all of this, and more, but he wasn't happy. So he sat down to think. He barely noticed when a black cat with soulful yellow eyes walked past him. He just glanced at one of his watches, and decided it was time to get moving again. Samantha couldn't believe her eyes. She couldn't believe that he didn't notice her. She tried to convince herself that maybe it wasn't him, behind the glasses and hat and all that clutter, but she knew that it was him. And even though the boy paid no mind to her as he ran this way and that, adding to his baggage, she followed him faithfully. As she followed him, she helped him time and again. She opened doors so that they didn't hit him in the face. She threw a board out so the boy didn't fall into a ditch. But hope as she might, the boy didn't notice her or pay her any mind. Except for one time when he thanked her and offered her a suitcase of money for her services. She said she didn't want the money and the boy simply walked away. She began to feel that it was hopeless, that he would never ever remember her. But then the boy paused. He paused because something had caught his eye. A poster of a cat. A poster that a poor little boy had made when he lost his best friend and would have given anything to have her back. He couldn't see it too clearly, so he took off his glasses and scarf. His iPod and cell phone and Game Boy distracted him, so he set them aside. He looked back behind him, and he saw a sad little black cat with soulful yellow eyes. And just then, something clicked. He walked up to her and asked, Are you my cat? Are you Samantha? And Samantha smiled and meowed and jumped into his arms. You are, the boy said. I finally found what I've been looking for all this time. 
I finally found you. Now let's go home. And they did. And they left everything else behind. The end. <laughs>